Hello and welcome back to my craft room and um, I'm going to do another quick break this journal page. So without further dithering, let me show you what I'm going to do this time. Um, where's it gone? There we go. Make a paper chain. <laughs> I think I'm going to reinforce these pieces before. I love that I'm at the, in this version, the uh, Technicolor version I call it, I love that you've got some colour already in here. Last time I ended up inking or painting this page. So I think I'm, what I'm going to try and do is leave the prompt part of the page in there and I'm going to take the rest of these out. There are quite a lot of pages in here that I can do really, really quickly. Why didn't I just use a knife? Start filling up this book. Be cut through half the other pages now but never mind that's a bit torn but it doesn't matter because i'm going to take this anyway so what i'm going to try and do is cover this with tape before i cut these pieces out so but i always find it a little bit difficult to get this page on without everything kind of wrinkling up i don't mind it wrinkling a bit but this is tricky it is tricky I have not found a great way of doing it yet. So as soon as you get near to the paper, it I don't know if it's static or what, but it starts to kind of lift up. That seems to have gone on fairly smoothly. Right, I'm going to let that stick the paper to the board for now. It's certainly easier doing it like this than it is trying to cover a page in the book, which I, I really struggled with. I stopped doing it that way. Oh, that's going pretty well, actually. Yeah, that seemed to work. shiny slightly sturdier um, piece of paper to work with which is good and what I'm kind of thinking I want to do is make this into a paper chain but fold that instead of doing what you'd usually do linking the chains together kind of fold them so it all sit flat in the book I don't know I might have to practice on a little, um, use, my, use my long straight scissors. These long straight ones are so much easier for cutting a nice long straight line. I think they're wallpaper scissors. But I've had these for ages, I, I use them a lot. Never for wallpapering. I'm not going to worry about the fact that you can see the dotted lines, I quite like that. So these ones that were on the top and bottom of the pages are a little bit wider than the others, so I'm just going to cut them down. I want them all to be roughly the same. That's the other long one. So I'm just going to use this little post-it note to just practice what I'm kind of thinking. Normally with a paper chain, you'd you'd make one like that, then you'd thread this one through. Oh. <laughs> it's not going to work too well, but and it'd be like that. But of course, when they then get squashed flat in the book, that's not going to work. So, can I fold them in such a way that instead of being a loop, they'll lie flat? Okay, I need to stop filming for a minute and just work this out. Okay, I think I got it. After a few uh, dodgy attempts, <laughs> I've managed to get this little link, like a link that will fold flat. So what I'll do is half of the um, half of the pieces I will make into these little flat links and then the others will slot into here and I can make them into a, a kind of a more normal link and the whole thing should form a chain. That's my plan. Right, I'm going to cut all these up and glue them and speed through it. I'll drop this down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Fingers crossed it'll work. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I'm going to glue half of these now together into little rings, roughly the same size. I'm using a strong kind of all-purpose glue that sets up pretty quickly because it's because it's not just paper now. I, I covered it with that tape, didn't I? So needs to be quite a strong glue. Hopefully that will hold. Right, so I'm going to go through and glue all of those now. Okay, so those are kind of all glued now. That I found that the glue didn't want to grab very fast onto this. It's probably because of that shiny tape. But what I'm going to do now is squash each one flat with the with that seam in the middle there. Probably should have done that first as I was gluing it, shouldn't I? And then I could have put a clip on it or something to hold it while it was gluing. That would make it easier. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. Oh, this glue comes out really fast. It's the first time I've used this glue, so I'm not. Uh, I haven't got the measure of it yet. It comes out really quick. Maybe I can just open it a bit less. Maybe. Yeah, that slows it down. Probably should have been obvious. Right, so half of them were still strips and half of them have been made into rings. So now the slightly tricky part. So I'm going to open it up a little bit and then I want to fold, I want to get a triangle here. So I'm folding about a 45 degree angle there. It sort of, sort of does itself, just need to coax it a little bit and then flatten out the other end. Yeah, see I haven't done that. There, that's better. And once I'm happy with it, give it a bit of a crease. And then from that side, you can't see any of the white. Now, I could have cut those kind of construction lines off. I'm leaving them on purpose because I, I just, I think that kind of will remind me of the prompt and how the page was put together. I just quite like the look of it. I might regret that later on. It might be that I end up deciding it looks better this way because the the other rings are going to be going through like this. So I might decide I want it this way and you won't even, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to work through and do all of them now. I think the, the easiest way to look at this is to think that that crease that I've made there by squashing it flat, that I want to line up against or line, you know, line up with this line and this line yeah and that if you do that then you get that sort of 40, perfect 45 degree angles well not perfect but <laughs> near enough okay so maybe I do like them better that way around so now I need to have a little bit of a think about which colour I'm putting with what as I link them together. I'm not going to think about it too hard, I'll just make sure probably I don't get the same colours next to each other. That's, that's enough. So now the idea is what I'm hoping is that I can link through here. Hmm. Some of them are wider than others, so let's go through one of the wider ones. Okay, So I can link through here and through another one of these and then glue it at the back wrap it round and glue it is it going to work? is it going to work? yeah I think it will I think it will so do I want to yeah that's okay <laughs> can I control this glue? Sure, it's marvelous stuff once I get used to it. There. Yeah, definitely would have been easier if it wasn't all covered in shiny tape, but you know, why make things easy for myself? It would be no fun. So, what colour should I go for next? I fancy some pink. Let's put the pink through there. OK, 
go. I think it's going to work. Oh look, and it all folds up as well. Folds up, comes out. Folds up, comes out. I think this is going to be right. I'm going to keep going and uh, work my way through. Let's put a bit of glue on here and use it that way, I think. And I will speed through and see you when it's all done. Right, so I'm nearly done. I'm just coming to the end now. I think it's making quite a cute little chain. It's nice that um, it will all kind of mush up together like that and then you can expand out. I like that. It's really, uh, once it's all set up properly. So uh, just come to the last one. Um, do that one or that one. I'll do this one, I think. So now I've done a few, I can, <laughs> I can show you what I've worked out is the best way to do it. So um, I'm folding one of the little strips first, kind of in half, but not quite half. I'm just leaving about, I don't know, a centimetre. Yeah, centimetre there, overhanging. And then that shorter half I'm putting into the, the slot in my, in my link. And then when I've done that, I'm folding this extra little piece over to make a little tab. And then I'm putting that tab through the next link and then folding it over. Adding some glue and sticking it down to secure the link and now I've got a decision to make because do I leave the last link just loose or do I join it together into a circle I think I'm going to leave it loose because I like the idea of being able to play with it I think I can play with it more <laughs> if it's loose but I could join it up into a circle if I wanted no I'm going to leave it loose I can always change my mind later anyway so one more time I'm folding it kind of in half but leaving that centimetre overhang. Putting the shorter end through my link and then wrapping that extra little bit over to make a sticky tab and then this is the point where I put it through the next link or join it up there if I wanted to but I'm just going to finish this one now. So hopefully this will be a, because when I did the, the other book, the not in colour one, um, I just made it like a play, paper chain and suspended it. I think I cut out a little window and suspended it across, which looked really cute, but it did keep getting squashed in the book, partly because it was just flimsy paper and partly because the, the paper links got crushed this way because they're made to be flat, they won't get crushed. So I'm hoping that's going to work a lot better. I've lost the book though. Oh. So, um, oh, maybe I should have linked the chain through here. Could have done, couldn't I? Still could. Okay, I'm going to quickly unstick that because it's not set up yet, so that's fine. I think if I'm going to do that, I need to put tape on here. go so um, I have made a paper chain it's not quite like the paper chains that we used to make at Christmas when I was a kid <laughs> but it's kind of the same principle um, I quite like that I can uh, twiddle about with it I can leave it dangling out of my book like that actually that's quite nice and it will also it will also pull right out into a long chain if I want it to as well. And now that, that glue's all set up, it seems to be pretty robust actually, so, so that's all right. 
Um, obviously, I'm going to have to do something with that facing page, but this is going to end up being crumpled up. This is going to be probably the next one I'm going to do, and this is going to end up a crumpled ball, so that'll be another dangler. And I think these colours will look nice against that yellow, and then this is all going to be covered with fruit stickers. So that's the thing you do have to bear in mind the previous and uh, the next pages. So, yeah, okay, I think I'm done with that. <laughs> I suppose I could add a bit of colour there, couldn't I? I might come back and do that at some point. But that's it, that's it for that one for now. Mouse has gone to sleep. Uh, thanks very much for uh, watching that. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be along with uh, another one of these Wreck the Journal quickies very shortly. <laughs> See you again soon. Bye.